Hey guys, look what I got in the mail. I just got 15 Faraday bags in the mail. You know why I bought this? Because things are heating up in the world and I believe that the United States is currently pretty vulnerable to an EMP attack. I wanna share with you the best ways that I've found to prepare my family against the time of the EMP, specifically to protect our electronics. So this is a bunch of Faraday bags from the company called Faraday Defense. Now it's five ply, and so it's got three layers of kind of like plastic, and then it's got two layers of like aluminum foil. So to buy 15 bags on Amazon from Faraday Defense, it currently costs about $70. One thing I do like about these bags is they actually have zip locks. Now, I don't know if there's some leakage because uh, these Ziplocs are, they look like they're actually just plastic zips. Some people who purchased this item on Amazon, and I'll include a link where you can purchase some of these products below, some ones I'd recommend. Some people said in order to get complete uh, protection from EMP, from pulses and you know radio signals and things like that is to put them inside of multiple, say two or three of these bags, like nesting smaller bags inside of bigger bags. Another thing you can do to make this even more powerful, protecting your electronics, is to put tin foil around your bags. So you could put your electronics inside of smaller bags that you then put inside of a bigger bag, and then you could put around this opening here, you could wrap a bunch of tin foil there, or you could wrap the entire thing in tin foil, and that would probably offer you quite a good protection. Now, I did some research about microwaves. So microwaves are a, a sort of Faraday cage. They do keep in most radiation. They actually do leak out some radiation from what I understand within certain parameters. And there's been people on YouTube who have tested microwaves to see if you can call a phone that's inside of a microwave using a Wi-Fi signal or a cell phone tower signal. And from what I understand, some microwaves will block out those signals and some won't. <laughs> so there's some leakage around the microwave. So they are a sort of Faraday cage. And if you have an old microwave lying around and you don't mind it sitting there, you know, in your basement somewhere, you might consider putting electronics inside of your microwave and then get some heavy gauge, heavy duty aluminum foil like this. And you can wrap your microwave up, at least the part where you have the opening where the door is, you could encase that with aluminum foil, or you could just wrap the entire thing in aluminum foil. And that would make it a much more effective Faraday cage to protect your electronics against an EMP. Another thing you can do, you can go to Home Depot or Menards or Lowe's, and you can purchase one of those big trash cans that has a metal lid. And if you get some metallic tape, you can kind of fold it in such a way that it kind of completes the uh, metal enclosure. And then you can put your electronics inside, you know, you can wrap them up with uh, tin foil. Uh, pro tip, if you're gonna wrap something in tin foil, you probably want to insulate the electronics from the tin foil. Cause if the tin foil is conducting electricity, you don't want that to be touching your electronics directly. So you might want to have some cardboard or cardboard paper or some sort of paper or cardboard to give you a physical barrier between the metal, the aluminum foil, and your electronics. And if you wanna add added protection, you can do multiple layers. So you can have some sort of paper around your electronics or a cardboard box around it, and then you can wrap that with aluminum foil, then you can put it you know, inside of a bigger cardboard box and wrap it with foil. The more layers you have, from what I understand, the more protection you'd have against an EMP. So what are your guys' thoughts? Do you think we're gonna get hit by an EMP sometime? I personally feel like it's kind of inevitable that at some point in the history, there's gonna be a flare up of tension. There is a flare up right now. I watched a bunch of videos about EMPs and their potential threat to the United States and to the world at large. And one presentation before Congress of three or four experts, um, one of the presenters said that there were multiple studies addressing what the impact could be of how many people could die, you know, within like a year after an EMP. And he said the studies ranged from about 25% of the population to 90%. So if there's an EMP, things could get really bad really quickly because of how reliant people are on others for their food, for their energy, for just about anything in life. So I'd highly recommend if you are not prepared for an EMP, I'd recommend just taking $100, purchasing some of these supplies on Amazon, 
and then making a simple Faraday bag or cage. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more preparedness videos, go ahead and subscribe and I hope you have a wonderful day.